Remember the Steam Deck? The handheld that changed portable gaming. Well, Valve is cooking up something new. This isn't for your hands, it's for your living room. A new console codenamed Fremont. Is this the ultimate Steam machine we've been waiting for? Or is it a console that could change PC gaming forever? Let's dive into the leaked specs and find out what Valve has in store. For a while now, we've been hearing whispers about a new hardware project from Valve, with the first clues appearing in December 2024. It's currently called the Valve Fremont, and from all the information we know, it's a new gaming console or a set-top box. But unlike the Steam Deck, which you hold in your hands, Fremont is meant to sit under your TV. It runs on SteamOS, just like the deck, and its goal is to bring the world of PC gaming right to your living room couch. This time, Valve is focused on seamless integration with the entire Steam ecosystem for games, media, and even VR. Now, if this sounds a bit familiar, that's because it is. Back in 2015, Valve tried this before with the Steam machines. They were a good idea, in theory. PC gaming in a console-like package, but they failed. They had a lot of problems from confusing hardware choices to software that just wasn't ready yet. One of the major problems with Steam machines was simply the lack of games that could be played. That's because back then, games had to be built specifically to run on SteamOS, a version of Linux. But now, 10 years later, those problems are fixed. Valve created something called Proton, a special tool that lets Windows games run on Linux. Thanks to Proton, SteamOS is now a complete operating system with over 19,000 playable titles, and that number keeps growing every day. The Fremont, though, isn't just a rumor. There has been plenty of evidence that points to Valve currently working on a console device. The first clues appeared in December 2024, when some players found changes in the Steam Deck's code. The changes were made by a Valve employee who was testing a feature called HDMI CEC for a new device. This is the feature that lets one device, like a console, control another like your TV. This new device had the codename Fremont. The code also linked Fremont to an AMD chip with the codename Lilac. So it seems pretty clear that Valve was at least working on some sort of console device, but it was still early on so we didn't have much further information on it. The most important discovery was that the code also specifically mentioned Quanta Computer, the company that builds the Steam Deck. This proven partnership with Valve's hardware manufacturer was the first real proof that this device was in active development. But fast forward over 8 months later in August 2025, things got real as sadly it's Bradley spotted the device on Geekbench, a popular tool for testing computer performance. The Geekbench results are our first real look at what's inside this mysterious device. Now it's important to state that although this could be the specs of the Fremont, Valve works extensively through different prototypes, and this specific test seems to have been done on Windows, not SteamOS. We don't know if this is an early test unit or a final build, so just keep that in mind for now. As well, Valve isn't only just making a console. The Fremont just seems to be a piece in a bigger plan by Valve. They're also working on a new regular controller codenamed Ibex, which will be the Steam controller too. They will take the great controls from the Steam Deck, take out the screen, and fit it all into a normal controller. Valve is even working on a new set of VR controllers codenamed Roy, which of course goes hand in hand with their upcoming VR headset, the Deckard. So with all this new hardware Valve is working on right now, it seems clear they are working on a push for the Valve ecosystem, similar to what they did 10 years ago when they introduced this Steam universe. Now, let's get to the good stuff, the specs that were found. According to Geekbench, Fremont will have a custom AMD processor with 6 Zen, 4 cores, and 12 threads. This is a newer and more powerful chip than what's in the Steam Deck. But the biggest difference is the graphics card. Fremont has a dedicated AMD Radeon RX 7600 GPU. This is a mid-range desktop GPU, which means it has its own graphics power unlike the Steam Deck. This is a huge deal for gaming performance. It also has 8GB of DDR5 memory. The Geekbench scores show that the 6-core 12-thread Zen 4 CPU is a huge step up in single-core performance compared to the PS5 and Xbox's Zen 2 CPUs. While it has fewer cores than current consoles, its newer architecture and high clock speeds means it will handle most modern game tasks like physics and AI with ease, 
and will likely beat consoles in most cross-platform titles. While Geekbench doesn't test the graphics, the Radeon RX 7600 is a solid card. It should be able to play most modern games at 1080p and 1440p at high settings, and could even play games in 4K with a little help from upscaling tech like FSR. Some people worry that this GPU, which came out in 2023, might be a little old when Fremont launches. Job listing for a thermal engineer that Valve posted and quickly removed back in late May suggests they've been focused on solving one of the biggest challenges for this device, keeping the powerful graphics card cool inside a small case. This shows Valve is serious about making Fremont a high performance device without it getting too hot or noisy. The other interesting part of the leaked specs is the 8GB of DDR5 memory. Now this might sound a little bit low, especially when you compare it to the 16GB found in both the PS5 and Xbox Series X. However, this is where it gets a little tricky. While the Geekbench entry only shows 8GB of RAM, it's possible that this isn't the full picture. Given that the Fremont is seen to have a dedicated GPU, the Radeon RX 7600, rather than integrated graphics like the Steam Deck, it's likely that the GPU will have its own VRAM. This would mean the 8GB of RAM is used only by the CPU and operating system and not shared with graphics. This setup is very different from normal consoles, which use a single shared pool of memory for everything. However, it is also possible that this 8GB of RAM is simply a placeholder for a prototype and the final device will have more. It also needs to be mentioned again, but these specs we are looking at aren't final, so don't get too worked up over it, but it does give us a glimpse at what Valve is working with. Now you might be wondering, how does this stack up against the big players? Fremont's newer Zen 4 CPU gives it an edge in single core power over the PS5 and Xbox Series X. This means it's better at handling certain tasks in game that need a lot of speed. And when it comes to graphics, the Fremont is a big upgrade. The leaked specs suggest its GPU can do just under 22 trillion math problems per second to create game visuals. For comparison, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X can do around 10 to 12 trillion. This means the Fremont's GPU is almost twice as fast at crunching the numbers for graphics. This extra speed could allow it to run games at higher resolutions with better graphics settings or at a much smoother frame rate than your current consoles. Comparing it to its little brother, the Steam Deck, Fremont is a massive upgrade with it having its own dedicated GPU. It's the perfect device for people who love the Steam Deck but want to play their games on a big screen at home with more power, especially when you pair it with the upcoming Steam Controller 2. And since it's expected to be a PC console hybrid using SteamOS, you'll very likely have a full desktop mode for doing work or just browsing the web, allowing you to access much more than just Steam. The biggest unknown though is the price. Valve will need to make it affordable to compete with a PS5, maybe even selling it at a loss, just like they did with the Steam Deck. The target price is likely in the $400 to $500 range to be competitive. The thing is, one of the major problems with Valve's original Steam machine was the price. Once these devices start hitting over $1,000, many gamers would rather just build a PC. So Valve would need to hit a price that competes with other consoles. Overall, all, Fremont is an exciting project that could bring PC gaming to the living room. Its success will depend on its price, how well games run on it, and if Valve can avoid the mistakes of the past. The Steam Deck succeeded because it offered a clear value, a powerful portable PC at a great price. Fremont will need to do the same by offering a high performance, affordable alternative for PC gamers who want a simple living room experience without the complexity of building a full gaming PC. So what do you think? Is Fremont a day one purchase for you, or is Valve heading down the same path as the original Steam machines? I'm excited for Valve to announce this new Steam ecosystem and bring out their new generation of hardware.